It all begins with me making a contact with someone like Michael Keegan and using the resources of people for the American way or more formal partisan groups like the Senate Committee and the Congressional Committee to find out you know, what bases do you think are important and significant and where there's a real chance, where there's a good candidate. And I want to really, really underline where there's a good <clears throat> candidate. Do you think candidates, Democratic candidates running in these suburban districts should talk about President Trump in, in their pitch to voters? In, what, in, in terms of what? And, and part of the reason, you know, some Democrats want to avoid talking about the president, don't think they're, he's important to their pitch, others want to focus pretty much exclusively on what, you know, they think is... Well, I, don't think you need, I don't think you need to bolster her campaign by referencing Trump and his failures. I think if you just look at the two Amandas, if you will, it's very clear which one would be that will be the 48th state of the equal rights of the I think there are implications for Virginia, for her and her legislative proposals, and the idea that she has of getting rid of this woman, I think it's on the wrong side of most issues, if not all of us. But at the same time, 